In this video, we'll explore how you can use the Firewalla app to manage and keep track of all your devices. Thanks for choosing Firewalla. Tap on the Devices icon on your box's main page to get started. You can see all your device groups and ungrouped devices, all your networks, or all your devices in one list. You can search for a device, device group, or network using the search bar at the top of the page. Search by name, MAC address, IP address, or local domain name. For example, I can search for Annie and see all the devices that have Annie in the name. For additional view options, tap on the icon in the top right corner to pull up the View Options menu. From this menu, you can choose to sort your devices by name, MAC address, IP address, the last time they were seen, and their data usage. You can also choose to see your devices with reserved IPs by tapping on the Show Devices with Reserved IP button. My access point has a reserved IP, so I see it in this list. Finally, you can also choose to see past devices from the View Options menu. Firewalla automatically hides devices that are offline for more than seven days. If you toggle Show Past Devices on, your past devices will appear at the bottom of the devices list. So here at the bottom of the list, I can see all my past devices. I'll turn it back off for now. Tap on a device to go to its detail page. I'll just tap on my laptop. Similar to your box's main page, a device's detail page will include graphs and information about its data usage, flows, and the rules applied to it. You can tap on the graph or on network flows to see its flows history. So here are all the flows coming from my device. Using our rules shortcuts, you can easily block certain types of content and network access. For example, I can block social media by tapping on the social block icon. I can also tap rules to see what rules are applied to the device and add other rules. So I can see that social sites block and I can easily add a new rule if I want. We've also added a section with shortcuts to block some popular apps. For example, you can quickly block YouTube for one hour on this device. You can also see and change what group your device belongs to. So this device doesn't currently belong to a group, but I can add it to the quarantine group or kids devices if I want, or I can create a new group if I want to. The device detail page also shows information about that device specifically. Device names are customizable, so you can edit yours in whatever way makes sense for you. So for example, I can say, instead of my laptop, work laptop, and save that. Your device's local domain is also customizable. You can even change your network's domain name from this page if you need to. I'm going to leave it as is for now. If you tap on IP address, you can change how your device is allocated in IP. Choose between dynamic, reserved, which is just a static IP, or do not allocate. Below IP address, you'll see your device's network, IPv6 address if applicable, MAC address, and manufacturer. Under those lines is status, which tells you if this device is actively on your network or not. From this page, you can set alarms to tell you when your device leaves or rejoins your network. You can also send a wake on LAN message to your device by tapping on the wake up button. Finally, Firewalla can show you the open ports on your LAN. I can see these two ports are open and add a port forwarding if I want to. Under your device info is the emergency access toggle. Emergency access is useful when you're trying to debug a problem on your network, since it temporarily grants your device full access to the internet by suspending Firewalla's rules. You can also choose if your device is monitored by Firewalla from this page. We recommend that you allow Firewalla to monitor all your devices, but if for some reason you don't want Firewalla to pay attention to the flows from a particular device, you can switch monitoring off. We also give you the option to lock a device onto your box's main page for easy access. To do this, just tap Keep on Main Screen. I'll add to the main screen. You'll see a widget with shortcuts for this device appear on your box's main page. So we can see Work Laptop now appears. Additionally, if a device is recently viewed or edited, it will show up on the main screen as recent for your convenience. I'll go back to the devices list for now. Device groups help you easily manage similar devices together. 
Navigate to the devices list and tap Create Group to get started. Simply give your group a name. I'll call mine Work Devices. And then start adding the devices you'd like to include in the group. I'll add my access point and my work laptop and tap Save. Note that after a device joins a group, all of its existing rules will be removed and the device will follow the rules defined for the group. So I'll confirm that and save again. Tap on any group to go to its group detail page. I'll just tap on the group we just created. You'll see it looks similar to the device detail page. You can tap to see what devices belong to the group. So my access point and my work laptop are in here. And then on the group detail page, you can tap to see the group's network flows, set group rules, and quickly block apps. Below the app shortcuts is the group name. Tap on it to edit. So instead of work devices, I can call this my devices and then tap save. You can also choose to keep the group on the main screen. Finally, you can look into a network more in depth. Tap on any network to go to its detail page. So I'll navigate to networks and then tap on LAN. Similar to the group detail page, you can tap to see the devices on the network. You can also see the network's network flows, set network rules, block apps, turn emergency access and monitoring on or off, and add the network to the main screen. The View This Network button at the very bottom of the page is a shortcut to the network manager. From here, you can make more advanced configurations to the network. I'll go back to the devices list for now. So that's our overview of how Firewalla makes it simple to control all the devices on your network, no matter how complex your environment is. If you have any feedback or ideas you'd like to let us know about, feel free to send us an email. Happy networking!